Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss that how we can create a summary report from the detailed data in Microsoft Excel. We will discuss two methods that we can use to create summary report in Excel. So let's get started. Here we have detailed data that belongs to sales for year 2025. Let's say we want to summarize this data. In this data, we have serial numbers. We have customer name, units delivered and invoice amount or sale amount for each of these customers. How we want to summarize? Let's say we want to know that how much total number of units we have delivered to each of these customers. We want to know that what is total invoice amount or what is total sale to each of these customers. We also want to know that what is total sale percentage by customer as compared to total sale. So how we can do this? The first method is with help of formulas or functions. So let's start the first method. We will simply copy heading and we will paste wherever we want to create the summary report. Let's say we want to create summary report here. I will simply paste here the heading. I will adjust the width of columns. Now let's move toward creating the summary report. What we want to do exactly as we said, we want to summarize our data by customer name because we said we want to know how much total units delivered to each customer, right? How much sale to each customer. So that's mean the main thing in our data is customer name. So what we will do, we will simply copy from here the customer names. We will copy customer names and we will paste it here. We will remove duplicates names from here with help of remove duplicate feature of Excel for this. We need to go to data tab. We need to go to remove duplicates. We will click here. We will go to this option continue with current selection. Remove duplicates. Go for OK. And you will see instantly all the duplicate names have been removed. Now let's add here serial numbers as well. I will add here serial numbers. Now, what we want to do next, we want to bring here total units delivered to each of these customers. For this, what we will do, we can use a function that is sum if function. We will simply use an equal sign sum if function open parenthesis. The first argument is range. What is range? This is our range exactly because we want to summarize our data based on customer names. So this is our range. We will simply select all customer names, we will use F4 key to lock this range, right? Then we will insert here comma. After comma, what is our next argument? Our next argument is criteria. This is our criteria based on this customer name we want to sum up units delivered, right? So this is our criteria. We will select this cell in which we have our criteria, comma, sum range. What we want to sum? You can see from heading, we want to bring here units delivered. So Obviously, we will sum the units delivered from this table, right? So our sum range is units delivered. We will just select all these cells. We will use F4 key to lock this range. Close parenthesis, enter. And here we go. You can see here we have total number of units delivered to this customer. That is 177,647. Let's drag it down. And here we go. We have here units delivered for each of these customers, right? Now, next objective is to summarize here total sales by customer, right? Again, we will use here sum if function equal sum if function open parenthesis range. Obviously, same range that is customer names. Select all these cells, use F4 to lock this range, then comma. Next argument is criteria. Again, customer name is our criteria, comma. Next, sum range. This time you need to care about, you need to think about this, what is our sum range. As we want to bring here invoice amount, so obviously invoice amount is our sum range. We want to sum figures from this card, right? So this is our sum range. We will select all these cells. Again, F4 key to lock this range. Close parenthesis, enter. And here we go. Here we have total sales to this customer hard disk. Let's drag it down. When we will drag it down, here we have total sale by customer. 
Now the next requirement that we said what we want to find, we want to find the percentage sale by customer as compared to total sales. For this, what we can do, let's add here heading sales percentage. Let's adjust the column width. Now to add here sales percentage, we have a very good way to bring here sales percentage. We will simply select all these cells in which we have sales value. You can see in the corner below, we have here quick analysis. We will click here and you can see here we have different options that we can use to analyze our data. We will go to totals. In totals, you can go to the right and here you can see we have here percentage total that we can bring on the right side. We will go to this option and you can see instantly we have here percentage sale as compared to total sales. Let's do here total and you can see total sales are 100% and these are sale percentage by customer. For example, here we have for Hardee's we have 7%, KFC we have 10%, XYZ foods, we have 12% of sales as compared to 100%. So these are the three columns that we have summarized. Now let's say we have some more requirements. Let's say we want to know that what is average sale price for each of these customers. What we can do, we can use it average sale price heading. We have added here average sale price heading. For average, we will use invoice amount divided by units delivered and here we go we will simply drag it down and we have here average selling price for each of these customers we can use a round function to do the rounding to two digits round function this formula comma we can use a two because we want to round by two digits close parentheses enter we will drag it down and perfect we have here average sale price for each of these customers now let's say we have another requirement. Let's say we want to know that how many total invoices for each of these customers. Total invoices. We have added here heading. So for total invoices, as we want to count, we don't want to sum, we want to count number of invoices. What we will do? We will use count if function. Open parenthesis range, obviously, same is our range. That is customer name. That is our main thing in our data set. We will use F4 to lock the range, then comma, what is our criteria? This is our criteria. We want to count total number of invoices for this customer, right? Close parenthesis, enter, and here we go. We have 66 invoices in this data set for this customer hard disk. Let's drag it down. Let's do a total. So that's mean we have total number of invoices in this data set. That is 1006 out of this 1006. These are number of invoices for each of these customers. So friends, this is the first method that we can use to summarize our data or to create summary report. That is with help of formulas or functions. We can also use the second method to summarize our data or to create summary report. The second method is with help of pivot table. So how we can create summary report with help of pivot table? We simply need to go to insert tab. We need to go to pivot table here. We need to select all of this data. We need to keep this option checked. That is new worksheet as we want to create some lead report in new worksheet. You can also use this uh, second option that is existing worksheet if you want to create this summary report in same worksheet. I will go for this first option that is new worksheet. I will go for OK. So here how we want to summarize. We want to summarize our data all these that we have done already. First thing we want to do, we want to bring our customer names. What we will do, we will simply, you can see on the right side, we have pivot table fields window. We will simply pick from here customer name and we will drop in rows field. And you can see here we have only our customer names. Now, next thing what we want to do, we want to bring here units delivered to each of these customers. What we will do, we will pick here units delivered and we will drop in values. And you can see here we have units delivered to each of these customers. Now the next thing, what we want to bring, we want to bring total sale value to each of these customers or invoice amount for each of these customers. We will go back where we are creating our summary report by using the second method that is pivot table. We want to bring total invoice amount. So we will pick from here invoice amount. We will drop in values and you can see instantly we have a total sales our total invoice amount for each of these customers. 
Now the next thing that we want to bring, we want to bring a sales percentage. How we can bring a sales percentage? This is a little bit technical, but not difficult. Again, we will pick from here invoice amount because we want to find percentage based on invoice amount or sale amount, right? We will pick from head invoice amount and we will drop here. But this time what we need to do, we need to adjust it a little bit. We will click on this field, we will just right click. In right click, you can see we have different options. Show values as. Show values as you can see percentage of grand total. We will go for this option and you can see we have here percentage sale for each of these customers as compared to total sales. You can see here we have 100% total sale and this is percentage sale by customer, right? Now let's see what we have next. We have here next average sale price. For average sale price, this is also a very interesting thing. We want to bring here average sale price, right? So what we will do, simply we need to go pivot table analyze tab. In pivot table analyze tab, you can see here we have here an option fields, items and sets. We will go to this option, calculated fields. Here we will create our own fields. What we want to bring here average selling price. So we can give name to this field average selling price. So here we can add a formula. What we want to do, how we want to calculate the average that is invoice amount divided by units delivered, right? So we will select invoice amount divided by units delivered, go for OK. And you can see here we have average selling price. We simply need to pick from here and we need to drop in values field and you can see here we got the average selling price for each of these customers. We can adjust format a little bit and we have an average selling price. The next thing what we have, we have a total number of invoices. How we can find the total number of invoices? We simply need to pick customer name and we need to drop in values. And here we go. We have a total number of invoices for each of these customers. So friends, this is the second method to summarize our data or to create a summary report that is with the help of pivot table. So in this tutorial, we discussed the two methods. First method with the help of formulas or function and second method with the help of pivot table to create summary report in Microsoft Excel. Friends, I hope you like this video. I hope you learn something new from this video. If you learn something new from this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.